As a best practice, animals have access to adequate feed and water on a daily basis, in a consistent manner, on a regular schedule, and according to their specific requirements. Fresh, clean water is essential for the health and well-being of the animals. As a best practice, all animals have access to palatable, clean, fresh water as necessary to maintain proper hydration. Access to waterers, large tanks, troughs, buckets, or fountains is essential for cattle to satisfy their need for water. Under best practice, waterers are convenient for the animals to reach on demand and there are sufficient waterers to accommodate the number of animals in the group. When continuous access is impossible for other classes of animals besides lactating cows and non-lactating cows, water must be made available to allow animals to drink to satiation at least twice per day. In best practice, water is prevented from freezing in cold weather or animals are provided access to fresh water as soon as possible. Refer to the water consumption table in Chapter 5 of the Animal Care Reference Manual for more details. Feed considerations include nutritional quality and quantity, feed bunk design, and proper feed storage. Advances in ruminant nutrition science have greatly improved our understanding of dairy cattle production. The Dairy Farm Program recommends that rations provide the required nutrients for maintenance, growth, health, and lactation for the appropriate physiological life stage. Feed equipment is washed and disinfected after being used for non-feed purposes. Sufficient feed bunk space is provided that allows all animals to feed at the same time or sufficient quantities of feed are available for all animals during a 24-hour period. As a best practice, the dairy farmer evaluates protocols to assure that feeding programs meet the basic nutritional requirements for the animal's maintenance, growth, production, health, and reproduction. Qualified nutritional consultants normally assist in formulating rations that economically meet nutritional requirements of the animals. The daily removal of feeds not consumed will ensure freshness of feed, prevent mold and spoilage, and aid in insect control. This is a particularly important practice when high moisture feeds such as silage are used. In best practice, feeders are far enough from any water source to minimize contamination of water. For example, sprinklers point away from the feed bunk to avoid adding moisture to the total mixed ration. Feed is pushed up several times daily. Sanitation of eating areas will improve if animal caretakers check them several times each day and remove any feed not eaten daily. Safely store bulk supplies of feed in appropriately designed areas to avoid moisture, vermin, and bacterial or fungal contamination. Proper labeling of storage containers or areas, controlling moisture, and using an effective program of vermin control help assure maintenance of feed quality and safety.